We are so excited to start this program. I will tell you, it's one of my favorite ceremonies in our movement. You know, this is an amazing opportunity to highlight our leaders and my boss, our bosses, the girls. You know, we all know the power of the gold, but they're really going to bring to light tonight what it means to be a young woman of distinction. First, I would like to thank Justine Magazine for featuring our honorees in this month's publication. You have a copy at your seat. It's page 62, 63. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for your support. Justine sponsored also a panel discussion, discussion featuring our National Young Women of Distinction actually just last night at the Renaissance Hotel with 180 people in attendance. And to top that all off, Justine Magazine presented to our Young Women of Distinction, Kindle Fires. I'm hoping they'll explain to me what that is. Again, Justine Magazine, thank you so much for supporting our girls. You know, leadership is what it's all about, and the young, remarkable women with us this evening are really, really the reason why we do everything we do every day. Right, ladies and gentlemen? So we are so privileged to be joined tonight by the 10 incredible 2013 National Young Women of Distinction, whose projects have demonstrated extraordinary leadership and whose vision, tenacity, boldness, and determination are already serving as the benchmarks and inspiration for a new generation of Girl Scouts. And these young ladies are only 16 and 17 years old. It's amazing. Now, I'd like to ask each of our young women to stand and be applauded for your achievements. Well deserved. Young ladies, this is your night. This is about your achievement. This is about your leadership journey. But we also know that your leadership journey was also paved by great intentions. Individuals that supported you during the times when you were trying to achieve your gold award, and they are your parents, your biggest supporters. So at this time, I would like the parents of our young women of distinction to stand and to be applauded as well. You know, parents are amazing. They're always trying to figure out how to not only fund your dreams, but to make your dreams a reality. I, as well, had a wonderful parents who supported my Girl Scout journey, and they are still supporting my leadership journey today. I would love to recognize and welcome my parents, Maria and Jose Chavez. Yes, after their Today Show appearance last week, <laughs> my dad has been telling everybody he's truly famous now. <laughs> Each of these young women have done incredible things. I could tell you about them, but no, we're going to do it justice. We're going to allow them to tell their incredible stories. So first, I'd like to welcome our first group of National Young Women of Distinction to join me here on stage. Brianna. Catherine, Miranda, Katie, and Hamila. Dedication, compassion, and imagination are at the heart of Brianna's Girl Scout Gold Award. 
As a child, Brianna, now 15, and a member of Girl Scouts Spirit of Nebraska, loved putting on puppet shows for her little sister, despite the world of video games and other childhood distractions competing for her attention. As a teen, Brianna's love for puppeteering continued, leading her to partner with the nonprofit organization Completely Kids to create, build, and donate a children's puppet theater and 30 puppets. Brianna also wrote scripts emphasizing heart lessons and led a donation drive to collect costumes so that children could role play as their favorite community hero. The Puppet Theater will help children learn the values of sharing, kindness, and self-assurance. Completely Kids has allocated funds to replenish the collection of puppets so that children can enjoy the theater for years to come. Brianna's heart lesson is centered on the premise that you can impact a life when you share your passion with your community. A year and a half ago, I completed my Girl Scout Gold Award project. It was an amazing, exciting journey and was well worth every minute. The most rewarding part, however, was seeing the children's faces light up when they saw the puppet theater for the first time at Completely Kids. It touched my heart to see so many children happy about something that I was able to give them. Girl Scouting allowed me to reach that moment in my life and to make an impact in the community. I am so honored to stand before all of you today as a 2013 National Young Woman of Distinction and to share my Girl Scouting experience. Girl Scouting isn't just about wearing a uniform or selling Girl Scout cookies, although, they are delicious. <laughs> Girl Scouting is about learning, leading, living, and loving. You learn how to be a leader and how to make the best of every moment. You live life to the fullest and help people along the way. And you love and share your memories and experiences with others so they too can be inspired to make a difference in the world. Along my Girl Scout journey, I have grown and achieved so much that I never dreamed possible. So many people have helped me to reach my goals and fulfill my dreams. I would like to thank God for all his blessings and walking beside me every day of my life. The Girl Scout Spirit of Nebraska Council and community sponsors for their support, guidance, and encouragement. Mr. Bob Cody for being an incredible woods craftsman and transforming my box on wheels into nothing less than extraordinary. And finally, my family for reminding me that life is about choices, and for inspiring me with their loving and giving spirits. My Gold War project has not only impacted my community, but has made a difference in me as well. I've learned that dreaming is the first step in making a difference, and with courage, confidence, and character, you can shoot for the stars and even eat a few Girl Scout cookies along the way. Seventeen-year-old Catherine understands firsthand the hardships of learning English as a second language. A survivor of human trafficking and now a member of Girl Scouts of Citrus, Kathy recognizes the link between reading and long-term success. For her Girl Scout Gold Award, Kathy created a library at the Opopka Family Learning Center to help children of migrant workers, a population living well below the federal poverty level and with the lowest high school graduation rates in the country. Kathy relied heavily on books to learn English and sees books as a way for families to share learning. The library is maintained by the center, and Kathy is proud to report that 70% of students at the center have either improved their reading grades or maintained passing scores within the first year of the library's opening. By turning personal tragedy into productive action, Kathy is showing others that not only is it possible to overcome odds, but also that we can all do our part to make the world a better place. Um, three years ago, I started Girl Scouts in an outreach program. And because of that program, I came to discover the true meaning of leadership. Before I was a Girl Scout, I had no familiarity with the concept of leadership. In fact, I didn't even know that a 15-year-old girl could engage in such activity, such as Girl Scouting. However, I decided to join. I decided to participate. 
and that has made a big difference in my life. Then I was introduced to the Gold Award, the opportunity to help the community. To earn my Gold Award, I had to show that I am a leader. But this was hard for me because when I thought about ideas, I was homeless, living in a 12 by 12 room, sharing with four of my family members. I struggled to find my path towards leadership because the basic idea of me being a leader had never been presented to me. And I was in a situation when I, where I could barely help myself or my family. If I couldn't achieve that, how was I going to help the community? I decided to focus on my Gold Award on an issue that was personal to me. Literacy among, among children of migrant workers at the Apopka Family Learning Center. I understand the importance of reading when it comes to learning English as a second language. Most of the kids' parents are migrant workers and also victims of human trafficking, a modern day slavery seen within the United States and a huge international problem. An issue that I'm familiar with because I was also trafficked into the United States at the age of 12. Once I found out the circumstances of the kids at the center, I felt an enormous connection. And I finally understood through Girl Scouting that I could in fact make a difference. I want to thank this country for giving me the opportunities it has given me and giving me the privilege to be a part of the American culture. I want to thank Girl Scouts and all its members for showing me the path of leadership and for creating opportunities for girls from all backgrounds. And last but not least, I want to thank my Girl Scout advisor and role model, Mariana, who has become like my older sister, whose courage, persistence, and determination I admire. And although my past has been challenging and my future couldn't look better as a Girl Scout, now I understand that nothing is impossible or out of reach. Thank you. 18-year-old Miranda of Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan knows that as a Girl Scout, she has incredible leadership tools at her disposal. For her Girl Scout Gold Award, Miranda used these tools and founded the Community Impact Awards, better known as CIA, to inspire others to serve. CIA is a comprehensive volunteer service program using social media to match service-based organizations with the 2,000 high school students who reside in the Northville School District. CIA offers students a way to earn four distinct awards through their current volunteer efforts or via the CIA match, Northville Hometown Here, Beyond Our Borders, Leadership and Mentoring, and Good Nature. Each award requires 15 hours of service. To date, more than 350 Northville High School students are engaged, which translates to upwards of 10,000 hours of community service. Because of Miranda's leadership, a dozen communities have requested a Community Impact Awards implementation, and CIA has since applied for nonprofit status. I'm here tonight because of my little brother. When I saw the incredible accolades my older sister received when she earned her Girl Scout Gold Award, I was determined to earn mine too. But my brother and hundreds of others like him in my community didn't have anything that motivated them to do something special. So I decided to make my Gold Award about inspiring others to make a difference. This sense of purpose is what Girl Scouts means to me. It is a reflection of what you here tonight have made possible for girls like me across our country. Every teenager out there wants to change the world and every kid's dream is to make a difference. But we need structure, unwavering support, motivation, mentors, and recognition to give us a springboard to reach beyond what others may deem possible. This is a framework that Girl Scouts has provided for me. I appreciate that this part of the evening is about us as National Young Women of Distinction recipients, but I hope you see how we are an expression, a reflection, a manifestation of your hard work, diligent planning, and commitment to lifting girls up to reach our dreams. Tonight, I'm honored to thank my council CEO, Jan Barker, and Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan. I also want to thank my community's leaders who have embraced my Gold Award project with such enthusiasm and passion that it has now become a permanent program reaching over 2,000 high school students. I also want to thank um, the 
over 400 current CIA members who have committed to over 12,000 hours of community service. Now that is a change that goes far beyond anything I could do on my own. And mom, there really aren't words for how you believed in me, taught me the values of perseverance and discipline, and lifted me up and over. Dad, your strength of character is the greatest gift a parent could give. Thanks to my big sister Olivia for setting a high bar of achievement, and for my younger brother Bradley for being worth the effort. <laughs> my favorite quote is by Charles Town. I'm honored to share this evening with a room full of people he describes. He says, the race advances only by the extra achievements of the individual. You are the individual, and Girl Scouts taught me to be that individual. Thank you. Katie of Girl Scouts of Greater Iowa wanted to establish a home for a threatened species, bats. In her community, a loss of habitat led to an all too common occurrence of human bat collisions. Through research, Katie learned that bats play an important role in their ecosystems as apex predators that contribute to global pest control. Also impressive, bats are instrumental in pollinating crops worldwide. Katie launched a public relations campaign to educate others, including youth, on the benefits of bats and to revamp their bat image. And to reduce instances of unplanned contact between bats and humans, Katie arranged for 6,000 bat houses to be built for roosting and hibernation. The bat houses are now under the care of the Warren County Conservation Board and will continue to provide house room for the bat population in St. Charles, Iowa. Katie's Girl Scout Gold Award helped her realize that with some initiative and self-motivation, she could really make a difference. Some of the first memories I have are from when I was a little brownie going to Camp Zacajuia. My favorite part was always getting away from technology and getting a chance to be closer to nature for a week. It was here that I experienced my first nature hike and my first midnight stargaze. It was here that my leaders taught me the importance of our environment and how it affects everybody when we do something thoughtless, like littering. From there, my love of nature has only grown. It pains me when I see litter on the street or people that don't care about how their actions affect others. What people don't realize is that humans aren't the only ones that are hurt and you don't do your share to conserve our environment. What's even more important is that humans are the only ones who can really do something to save it. Because of Girl Scouts, I was able to make an impact in my world. I saw a problem and I did what I could to fix it. Because of Girl Scouts, I knew that I could make a change. I knew that it was my duty as an individual to make the world a better place. I would like to thank Girl Scouts of Greater Iowa and the entire Girl Scouts organization for all the great experiences I have had through my years as a Girl Scout. I would also like to thank Mark Wilson from the Warren County Conservation Board for helping out a random girl who emailed him about bat houses. <laughs> and lastly, I would like to thank my mother and my father for all the hours they spent helping me make my bat houses a reality. Thank you. In the seventh grade, Jamila, now a recent high school graduate from West Central Florida, was introduced to the Invisible Children Organization, which raised awareness about the youth of war-torn northern Uganda and the heinous conditions they suffered at the hands of a brutal dictatorship. Years later, for her Girl Scout Gold Award, Jamila worked in partnership with Invisible Children and founded the Global Outreach Club to educate her peers about Uganda's plight through documentaries and featured speakers. After a year of planning, soliciting vendors and sponsors, and recruiting volunteers, Jamila's Global Outreach Club produced an entertaining yet purposeful Roots for Peace Festival, where attendees shared their thoughts about the war and what the United States could do to support Uganda's youth. These thoughts were collected on paper and later shared with congressional leaders to spur them to action. Additionally, proceeds from Roots for Peace helped purchase educational supplies for a sister school in Uganda. 
Jamila recognizes that through passion, drive, and strong leadership, even just one young person can help peace take root on the other side of the world. Frankly, I'm awestruck and to be honored with this extraordinary group of young women and to be standing in front of such a distinguished audience today. From a young age, I've had the influence of Girl Scouts in my life. I started as a daisy and I've continued through each level of Girl Scouting. I started with a solid foundation of ethics and values. We were taught to accept people and their differences and to look at the world with an open mind and heart. The involvement of my leader, who is also my mom, and my life has inspired me beyond the typical mother-daughter relationship. She has been an extraordinary example of what being a real woman is all about for me, my troop, and all of my friends. My important team of supporters includes my parents and family, my coach and mentor, Elizabeth Glover, everyone at Girl Scouts of West Central Florida, including Amber Van Densen, Kim Joel, and Lynn Dodge, legislators Congressman Gus Bilarakis and Ms. Elizabeth Hitos, and an unbelievable set of friends. Having this wonderful group of people in my life has propelled me towards my goals and aspirations. Girl Scouting exposed me to my passions in life. I would like to believe that regardless of whether or not I was a Girl Scout, I would have worked just as hard for the people of Northern Uganda. But just having the opportunity to take such ownership and responsibility for something like my Gold Award is something I would not have found anywhere else. It's just amazing how singing songs around a campfire and selling cookies by the box has brought me to such a place a state of such confidence and self-respect. Girl Scouts has truly shown me that how wonderful it is. Nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. Thank you. Tremendous. Before we continue introducing the, the rest of the wonderful ladies of distinction, I would like to introduce a very good friend of Girl Scouts, Ms. Pamela Elms, Executive Director of Kappa Delta Sorority. Thank you, Anna. It truly is an honor to be here tonight. And I'm humbled to be in the presence of such esteemed young women and their amazing network of supporters in this room. As we honor this year's National Young Women of Distinction recipients and hear their stories, I'm reminded of the strong connection between our two organizations. Girl Scouts truly does build girls of, of courage, confidence, and character. A commitment to helping girls develop into tomorrow's leaders is something Girl Scouts and Kappa Delta have in common. We also share a commitment to making a difference in the world. And of course then, there is friendship. One of the great benefits of Kappa Delta and Girl Scouts. In light of our common values, Kappa Delta Sorority and the Girl Scouts of the USA began a national collaboration in 1998. And since that time, Kappa Delta Collegians and alumni have been volunteering with Girl Scouts in a number of ways, including organizing anti-bullying workshops, hosting campus tours, boosting girls' confidence through the International Girls' Day celebrations, and developing community service projects. This year, Kappa Delta has given $200,000 to Girl Scouts to fund programs that celebrate the life-changing results Girl Scouting produces. Thank you. Kappa Delta's funding includes honoring the National Young Women of Distinction recipients and five runners-up, as well as funding Gold Award Expos at Girl Scout Councils across the country. As part of our partnership and in recognition of the accomplishments of Girl Scouts National Young Women of Distinction, for the 14th year in a row, Kappa Delta is providing a scholarship to each of the honorees.
However, this year is a bit different. I was new on the job at your last national convention in Houston, and when I presented the scholarships to each woman for $1,000, I was convinced that Kappa Delta could give more. Each honoree with us tonight will receive $4,500. As we say down south, this is fun, y'all. <laughs> I want you to know that the resources of Kappa Delta come from the hard work of our members. Contrary to stereotypes, many of our collegiate members work part-time jobs or all summer long to pay for their sorority experience. Our alumni, too, have worked hard and contributed to the resources of Kappa Delta. So I stand before you as a representative of more than 200,000 women that believe in paying it forward and make Kappa Delta's gift possible. I'm thrilled to be here to present these scholarships and let's hear more about the great work these young ladies are doing. Thank you. Pamela, on behalf of the Girl Scouts, we want to say thank you for your partnership, for increasing your investment in these amazing, amazing young women, and for also showing other people how to pave the way as well to invest in our girls. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to a continued partnership with you. Thank you. Now, let's turn our attention to the second group of National Young Women of Distinction, Nicole, Zoe, Mandy, Addison, and Shri. Nicole, a 17-year-old from Girl Scouts Heart of New Jersey, was personally motivated to address the statistic that one in three women experiences relationship abuse. For her Girl Scout Gold Award, Nikki started a program in her school educating peers on the perils of dating abuse and discovered a bill that had been introduced months before in the New Jersey Assembly and Senate, A-2920 slash S-2114, a measure to incorporate safe dating education into the curriculum for grades seven through 12. After several months of letter writing and petition signing campaigns, Nikki was thrilled when Governor Christie signed the bill into law on May 5th, 2011. Soon afterward, Nikki created Mask Theater, an innovative program for students in her high school that created events, PSAs, an informational DVD, and other items promoting safe dating techniques. Mask even hosted a Girl Scout workshop on healthy relationships and the media. Through Girl Scouting, Nikki sees the positive impact women can have when their voices are heard. Her mission is to empower other girls to recognize their self-worth and create constructive social change. You may be familiar with the Predictive Index Survey. This system was developed in 1955 by a man named Arnold Daniels. Daniels had noticed while enlisted in the Air Corps that bombing missions consistently ended in failure. He took an interest in the psychology behind this query. Through his work, he fashioned a simple checklist test that could be analyzed to accurately predict the leadership qualities of an individual. The purpose of the predictive index is to allow organizations to identify the inherent strengths of employees and effectively assign positions to ultimately increase productivity. I was administered this test a few weeks ago. I had to fill out two checklists of adjectives, one for qualities people expect of me and another for qualities I recognize in myself. When a professional presented me with the results, there were a couple of graphs, each with four dots. Somehow, one set of dots completely outlined the characteristics that were most prominent in my childhood and another set described me as I am today. I had never met the analyst before in my life. 
We had only exchanged a handshake and a few pleasantries, yet this man in a suit was able to dissect my character based on some statistical horoscope. The survey showed there was a large dichotomy between my childhood traits and those I now possess. Without knowing anything of my past, the analyst explained something must have changed me to create the confident, risk-taking, extroverted, and adaptable leader I am today. Girl Scouts has been the catalyst for this personal change. Girl Scouts continuously encourages and motivates girls to be active members of the community. It is also a supportive resource for girls who are challenged by social pressures or negative influences of the media. Especially in the world we are living in today, it is imperative that girls are able to gain self-confidence and discover their individual talents. Girl Scouting has made this possible. The Gold Award Project pushed me to develop and implement a program to address an issue that was important to me but also that I was passionate about. I developed invaluable life skills along the way. I also gleaned valuable friendships and would like to thank all of those people that have pushed me to succeed even when I'm facing adversity. Liz Hornback, who originally approved my Gold Award project and stayed in touch after its completion and recommended me for this honor. Uh, Susan Brooks, the CEO of Girl Scouts Hard in New Jersey. Um, she's right here and she's the most bubbly personality. You should definitely go talk to her. <laughs> Um, Sharon Zucker and her Screen Theater group from Rutgers University for participating in my first workshop and inspiring me to start Mask Theater. Jen Waiter and Michalina Eichel, advisors for Mask Theater and life mentors for me. Keith Glock, the best guidance counselor a person could ask for. Montgomery High School, Middle School, school administrations for helping me bring my project into existence. The Resource Center of Somerset and all the staff there, especially Anthony Winchaz. And finally, my mom. Kate Desario for being my biggest fan, my best friend, and a lot of the time my personal secretary. <laughs> we basically share a brain, so I hope, I hope you can understand all the love and appreciation that I cannot put into words. Pardon me, as I've definitely been talking for much longer than I should. Long-windedness is one of the characteristics that oddly enough did not show up on my predictive index survey. <laughs> Allow me to end it in this. Thank you everyone in the audience here today who has been involved with Girl Scouts, Girl Scouts of the USA. This is an organization making a global difference, one girl at a time. When 17-year-old Zoe from Girl Scouts of Greater Atlanta looked into future career options, she couldn't help but notice the vast underrepresentation of women in STEM fields. For her Girl Scout Gold Award, Zoe started the Women in Science and Health, or WISH, WISH Career Network, to expose girls to the benefits of careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. Her project has three distinct interconnected tiers, a career seminar, a robust educational website, and sustainable science clubs. Through her career seminar, Zoe convened 12 STEM professionals, representatives from four universities, a local high school teacher, over 60 girl participants, and two brave boys. With hands-on demonstrations and access to experts, 81% of participants reported a high level of interest in pursuing a STEM-related career. The WISH Careers website connects girls across the world to STEM resources, including information on how to bring WISH to their local communities. WISH has received interest in 15 states, as well as in Canada, Europe, and Africa. Zoe's vision and drive have garnered her admirers from across the globe. Good evening. I mean, wow, are these girls amazing or what? Can I just have a round of applause for my fellow Gold Awardees? <laughs> Let me begin by saying that I have greatly benefited from the tremendous leadership skills and growth opportunities provided to me through the Girl Scout leadership experience. Earning the Gold Award has already opened so many doors for me in ways that I never could have even imagined. 
Earning the Gold Award was definitely a significant component in making my application stand out among the pools of other applicants. It is my belief that every girl should investigate the extensive number of fun and quality programs offered in Girl Scouting. My first experiences in robotics, computer programming, video animation, business skills, development, and opportunities to create STEM experiences for other girls were all through Girl Scout programs. My leadership experiences and the platform provided to me by the Gold Award program have forever changed my life, probably more than I am even able to comprehend at this point in my life. In 2011, while earning my Gold Award, I created the WISH Women in Science and Health Careers Network for High School Girls Network. It is a nationally recognized program to educate and encourage young women into health and STEM careers. Earning the Gold Award allowed me to understand that I can make my world a better place. Through this experience, I have learned how to turn my dreams into realities. I stand here before you today because I found my passion and I made a commitment to go for gold. Yet, I did not accomplish this alone. Many individuals blessed me along my journey for gold. I am so grateful to the Lord my God for giving me wisdom and guidance along my gold award journey. My parents, Philippe and Leslie Getabeku. The Girl Scout of Greater Atlanta Council and CEO, Ms. Marilyn Majette. The Gold Award Committee. The National Young Women of Distinction Committees. My project and committee advisors, Ms. Linda Toomer and Ms. Mary Williams. My Girl Scout supporters from Norcross Service Troop Units, 1675 and 229. All the businesses and professionals that supported and participated in WISH Network and seminars. And lastly, all the National Young Women of Distinction who came before me and provided such an amazing example for me to follow. I am proud to be one of the many awesome Girl Scouts of the United States of America. We are young women of courage, confidence, character, and distinction. Thank you. Mandy's passion runs as deep as the ocean. To address the growing concern of global warming, ocean pollution, and threats to marine life populations, this 15-year-old from Girl Scouts of Central Texas designed an aquarium and a three-day curriculum to expose fifth graders to the state of ocean health and other environmental concerns. Carefully designed, the 60-gallon aquarium and curriculum provide students at the University of Texas at Austin elementary school information on an assortment of marine topics linking the classroom to bodies of water all over the world. Mandy is currently expanding the curriculum based on teachers' requests and continues to host lectures at the school with plans to expand the program to other schools and communities. Mandy's Girl Scout Gold Award has been a defining moment in her life. She knows that her future lies in education. I stand here today humbled by this very significant recognition and inspired by those who have preceded me. To be recognized by the Girl Scouts as a national young woman of distinction is a dream come true. On this journey, I'm learning so much. From my early beginnings in a brownie troop, on to earning both the bronze and silver awards, to finally accepting the challenge to pursue the gold award, this journey has inspired me educated me, and instilled in me a profound sense of confidence. It has prepared me to continue to strive, now as a National Young Woman of Distinction, to uphold and share those values and principles for which the Girl Scouts stand. Education is a powerful thing. It inspires students to use their never-ending creativity, curiosity, and optimism to dream, even to change the world. I was inspired at a young age to help the ocean and its inhabitants. A marine unit in second grade sparked something within me, 
and my passion for aquatic life has been growing ever since. Through my project, I hope to share the spark with other young students and inspire them too to recognize the essential importance of our oceans to the health of our planet. I truly believe the future of the world and our health rests in our hands. The Girl Scouts has allowed me to do this, to pursue my passion, and for that, I am forever grateful. I would also like to express my gratitude for Mrs. Major and Mrs. Salazar, whose amazing troop leadership guided me to become the person I am today. For the many teachers in my life who share their passion for education with me each and every day. For my family, who never ceases to support me in my many endeavors. For my counsel, who helped me to realize my potential. For Mrs. De La Garza, my life mentor. For the University of Texas Elementary School and Melissa Chavez for so graciously allowing me to work with their fifth graders. And finally, for God, who forever continues to be my beacon of light. Thank you. Triumph over tragedy is the prevailing theme of Addison's Girl Scout Gold Award project. After witnessing the aftermath of her cousin's suicide and grappling with her own depression for years, Addie of Girl Scouts of Wisconsin Badgerland decided to combat the stigma around mental illness. She started the Stress Anxiety Depression, or SAD Club, at her school as an alliance for those suffering with mental illness. The SAD Club hosted Break the Silence, an event that featured speakers with varying viewpoints on depression and suicide. With more than 100 participants, including local community organizations, Addie is confident that her efforts will not only start an important conversation about mental health, but will also change lives. She will continue to lead and strengthen the club during her senior year to ensure its mission continues after she graduates. For Addie, the shame surrounding mental illness has persisted long enough. The time has come to break through the confining walls of silence. Ever since I joined Girl Scouts in second grade, I always had the goal to earn my gold award, but never imagined I would be standing here before you. I am incredibly honored to be a 2013 National Young Woman of Distinction, something I never anticipated and am so humbled to receive. Girl Scouts has given me a platform to grow into the young adult I am today. Through Girl Scouts, I learned I have a voice and I can raise that voice for others who cannot. Because of what I have learned, I can look someone in the eye and say, I am proud. There are so many people I owe gratitude to. All of the speakers at Break the Silence, Julia, Pat, Dr. Wachowski, and Catherine, who inspired me to continue to share my story in order to educate others about depression. Karen Laufenberg, who supported my vision from day one and was my guide through the Gold Award process. Mr. Rummel, my advisor, who set aside time to help my vision come to life. My student panel, who brought their own stories to the table so the impact of our event would not be one-sided. The administration at James Madison Memorial High School, who found our message important and allowed this emotionally charged topic to be spoken about within the school environment. My Aunt Diane, for pushing me to share my story and for her strength. Both of my parents, for supporting me throughout everything. And finally, Brendan, who saved my life when he took his own. I do not have the words to express what your support of my project means to me. We are on our way to destroying the ignorance and stigma around mental illnesses. I urge you all to raise your voice. Raise your voice for your beliefs. Raise your voice to advocate for yourself. And raise your voice for those who have been silenced. Thank you. Discovering the true value of water was an aha moment for 16-year-old Sarichirana from Girl Scouts of Northern California. In Tanzania, over half the population lacks access to clean water. Water scarcity and insufficient sanitation impact communities' food security, educational opportunities, and economic growth. For her Girl Scout Gold Award, 
Sri hosted a Taste of Africa event for 500 guests to educate her local community and address misconceptions about African culture. Working with multiple local organizations, Sri included in her event songs, dance, art, clothing, and food from a cross-section of African regions. Proceeds from Taste of Africa were used by Sri to travel to Tanzania and work alongside a cooperative of 10 women and their families to construct a water retention system and a goat pen, empowering villagers to become more financially independent. Because of the profound impact of her project, Sri has shifted career aspirations to either international relations or economics. She sees herself one day working at the United Nations or the State Department. Fellow Girl Scouts, CEOs, and Council CEO COOs, I'm so honored to be standing here before you today as one of the 2013 National Young Women of Distinction. Through Girl Scouts, I gained valuable life skills that will shape me for the rest of my life. Achieving my gold award gave me the leadership and confidence to make my voice heard. I can find any issue and do my part to make a difference in my community. Yet it is only with the great support system, one that the Girl Scout community provides, that I was able to make an impact and get to this point in my leadership journey. So many people have impacted my development in Girl Scouting, and I would like to thank Karen Rodriguez, my Girl Scouts troop leader, who has always been willing to work with me and give me advice. Masigua Blandesi, who helped me connect with the African community both in California and abroad. My friends and my hometown Pleasanton community, who endlessly supported my efforts and encouraged, or encouraged me. And lastly, my family. I could not have done it without them. They are my support, my anchor, and honestly, my everything. My mom, my dad, and my brother Shreyan, they were up many nights with me planning all the details and giving me so much advice. And my dad had even traveled to Tanzania to work with me on the project. So I thank my family and I'm truly blessed to have them in my life. Girl Scouts has transformed me. It was a life-changing journey, yet my journey still continues. I'm no longer afraid to let my voice be heard, to dream big and make a difference. I thank you all so much for this esteemed honor, and I'm truly so grateful for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to welcome back all 10 National Young Women of Distinction with their fellow CEOs and Pamela Elms. Would you please join me on the stage for our pinning ceremony?
please have a seat. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you, all of you, uh, for this tremendous opportunity. If you'll go ahead and, and have a seat, we will um, conclude tonight's occasion. They're tremendous, aren't they? I don't know about you, but there wasn't a dry eye at our table. I mean, let's just sit back for a second, right? This is what it's all about. You know, um, you know, we sat in a room today. This is your leadership of the movement. We sat in a room today to start a dialogue about the future of Girl Scouts. You know, 101 years old, what does that mean? You know, we focus on the data, we focus on the numbers, we crunch the numbers. Yes, we have barriers, yes, we have challenges. But this is why we're doing what we're doing. Thank you for reminding us. Thank you for bringing us back to center to understand that our work is not only necessary, it is required. Thank you for inspiring us. Thank you for understanding that we are actually trying to follow your footsteps because you see clearly what the mission of this organization is. Our hope is to meet your aspirations. And in front of my colleagues, I promise you that I will do everything in my power to ensure this movement continues, that more women get the opportunity to be young women of distinction. Thank you for honoring us. Thank you for your inspiration. I'm humbled, humbled to serve you.